Hello and welcome to episode 1 of Quiarchus Plays Space Hulk Ascension Blood Angels Edition. So, we're going to jump straight in with the Sin of Damnation, which is the Blood Angels campaign, and it's actually the campaign that you get in the board game, should you be able to track down a copy of it. It's just quite a nice little board game, really. Anyway, let's jump in and have a look. The Sin of Damnation has been riding the currents of the warp for centuries, silent and slumbering. Its outer hull is a mass of dead ships and stellar wreckage, and within a silent labyrinth of twisted corridors harbours horrors and secrets all wrapped in the cold dark. In these halls, the Blood Angels were defeated more than six centuries ago. Hmm, a bit of teaser there. Um, this is the second encounter the Blood Angels have with this particular space hulk, the Sin of Damnation. And the first one did not go at all well for them. It actually resulted in the almost eradication of their chapter. Now we're going to take our handy librarian first. And we're actually going to rename this one in a minute. Uh, edit his name. And we are going to call him... Uh, bom, 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 bom. If I can remember the name... Calistarius, I think it was? Just a shout out to any Blood Angels fans out there. Uh, see how many of you actually know who that is. Leave that as a little, little, you know, if you, if you know who that is, feel free to leave a comment in the video section. Okay, uh, let's have a look at our Flamer Dude, Brother Elio. Okay, he looks okay. Let's slap a helmet on him. Because you know me and. Hmm, where am I looking? Do 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 do. Appearance. Good lord. You know me and my Terminators. And I do so hate it when they have no helmets on. There we go. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Acheron. Let's see what their attributes are. Yeesh. How about Gadfriel? Uh, okay. Not much better, is it? <clears throat> bad ballistic skill and bad agility, but never mind. Brother Daniel. Oh, that's a bit better on the agility, but still. Pretty poor ballistic skill. Dum dum dum. And Ippolito. Shoots. Okay. Yeah. Brother Mamoroth. Kind of a cool name. For our um, sergeant. Though he looks terribly unadorned, doesn't he? Let's find him something suitably grandiose, shall we? As the Blood Angels are the most blinged of all the. Emperor's children. There we go, look at that. I think that's particularly bling worthy, don't you? Tacitus. Yeah, like that. Jaheel, put your helmet on, sir. Same with you. And you as well. And actually, we're just going to check skills here. Attributes, sorry. They're both terrible, but we will replace Brother Ock. Seriously, Brother Ock? What a weird name. <coughs> so. I'm going to dive straight in here with Beachhead. Let's see how we go. Terminus must establish a control zone by eliminating all gene sealers. Sounds familiar? Both squads? Cool. Let's get ourselves going. Did I change my librarian's powers? I didn't. Never mind. Okay. Squads of the first company spearhead the initial assault, led by their indomitable captain. Boarding torpedoes breached the Sin of Damnation's hull. The first wave of Terminators quickly advanced through sporadic gene sealer resistance to clear the way for oncoming troops. Sergeant of the squad, accept okay, your Let's have a look. Orders. Two deployment zones, then we've got a nice... There's a room there we could perhaps reach and hold up in. Well, I'm guessing there's probably going to be corridors out this way. Maybe we split the groups. We'll have to have a look. Okay, so where are we? Da -da -dum. Oh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Go deploy. I shall not fail. Our librarian and his squad. Calistarius and his team. Over here. Um Marmoth. Marmoroth? Marmoroth, yes, that's the thing. On this flank. Doesn't sound a very blood angel's name to me, Marmoroth. We walk with death. I usually have kind of um, Italian we sounding names. Death. Blood Angels, of course, being one of the original founding chapters. 
Yes, my lord. Uh, I think they were the ninth Space Marine chapter. I'm sure somebody can correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure they were the ninth to be founded. Which makes them pretty early on in the history of things. There we go. And they're kind of, I believe, a fan favourite, although I've never been too keen on them, it has to be said. I was always a Dark Angels person myself. But I understand that some people like them in their bright red armour. There we go. Okay. Ooh, a room full of gene sealers up there. That's going to be fun. This is where we have to check what psychic power we took. Prescience. That's not the one I was hoping for. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to pop prescience, give ourselves that extra AP. Turn here. Open this door. Is that door down there open? No, it is not. So we're going to step back. Clear a path. Can we move further Elio up? And he's actually going to flame just to hold the vicious blighters in. Just to stop them advancing this turn. And then we're going to turn him that way and he'll back up next turn. That in Clear mind, we're going to move there. And then this squad is going to break and come right. around this way. We'll try not to lose anybody this time around. We lost area. troops in the first um, engagement with the Ultramarines. I'd rather not do that this time. Famous last words as I lose my entire squad. Move. These guys are going to head up this way. <clears throat> Making that grand mistake that everybody makes in splitting the squads. Never split the party. Never split the party. What am I doing? I don't know. There's a genius here trying to break through the door. He succeeded. You know what? We're gonna flame those guys. Why not? Did they survive that? Seemingly they did. Hmm. Tough little blighters. If you're in position, put him on overwatch. For enemy contact. And hope for the best. These chaps moving up. Ah, Gene Sealer there, so we're going to open the door. Go onto overwatch. For enemy contact. Move the rest of the squad up. There we go. Steady move everybody into positions. Might just hold this room actually. I think that would be better than. Yeah. I think it's going to be better to hold this room than it would be to push forward too far. With you guys. We'll hold this chamber. Going into Overwatch. So we've got all our flanks covered. Hear him. There's a few blips here and there. Wonder if we can push up into this room. Hey hey, you tried to get through fire and you died. Stupid gene sealer. Move here. Okay. Affirmative. Now the sin of damnation, as I alluded to earlier, is a ship that the is a Hulk, sorry, that the Blood Angels have been on before. And they lost they lost something phenomenal, like 80% of the chapter or something ridiculous. Nearly broke them as a chapter, as a fighting force. <clears throat> and then it turns up again 600 years later. And as you'd expect, they want vengeance. I'm going to go to Overwatch and we're going to reload. Which is why we're here today. Fighting the vile little blighters that they are. Of our gene sealers. Do we take a shot at that door? Let's give it a shot. Zero percent chance. Excellent. Just what we want. Overwatch. How can you have a zero percent chance to hit something? Seriously. Never mind. We shall forgive them. They are blood angels after all. Uh, da -da -dum. Let's blow that door up. No, okay, not going to blow that door up. 
fine, see if I care. Take another shot, 43%. No, good lord. I'd forgotten how crippled Terminators were at the beginning of these campaigns. And this guy is well and truly crippled. Come on, man. Wow. Brother Dalkiel? Dalakiel? Dunno. You have failed in the eyes of the Emperor. Let's hope that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Acheron got it first shot. Go on to Overwatch. Don't know if you'll be able to see much through there. Just in case. How about you guys? You guys are happy there. Okay. Not doing a very good job, are we? And they've not got a very good chance to hit so far. Unlike the Ultramarines, the Blood Angels nice. don't have that increased um, chance to hit. I don't actually think they get many bonuses, to be honest. Watching for enemy contact. Cool down. Okay. Gonna just pop a prescience here, so I've got enough AP to reload the weapon. There we go. Can turn him up this way. I don't think we've got anywhere other than getting down here. I'm gonna come this way, look up. It's gonna move up, and the flame is gonna stay there, so we can deploy if we need him to. Again, all about covering your fields of fire. Oh, you guys. Oh, there we go. Okay. There's an Overwatch. Cool. These guys are happy, he's happy, and you chaps, reload, and you can go on to Overwatch, just in case. When do we have to kill? 38 left. Ah, okay, we've got a gene see they're trying to be sneaky here. So, we're going to move here. Going to open this door. And we're going to step up with the flamer and whoosh him. There we go. Let's get some XP for our guys, shall we? Reload there. And he's still on Overwatch, so just reload. You guys are bum, 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 bum. You're all fine. How about you, sir? You're overheated. Cool down, reload, cool down. How many have we got left? 35. Ah, I've got some gene stealers trying to sneak through here as well, have we? Take a shot. Take another one because you missed. And you missed again. Okay. Put him into Overwatch and cool down the bolter. Storm bolter, sorry. There we go, that's what we wanted. Going into Overwatch. Let's recycle him. I'm gonna step back with our flamer, put him back into a handy Moving position. Out. There we go. Okay. Thirty-three gene seals left. This is gonna be a long mission, isn't it? I've got the feeling that it's gonna take a long time. Reload. It's going to be slow, isn't it? I just feel it now. It's going to be a slow, slow mission, but not much happens. So we're going to push forward a little bit now with our squad here, push them into this chamber. Stay alert, brothers. There we go. Hostile targets ahead. They're not very good, are they? Reload, cool down that. The machine spirits have answered my prayers. Uh, going to put our flamer up here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And you are going to move up to here, allow him to stay on Overwatch this turn. Order confirmed. Holding. It's a very low spawn rate for this one. I'm kind of a bit concerned about because it means it's going to take a long time. There's not much I can do about it. 
Good shooting, sir. Who are you? Gadriel. Gadriel? No, nothing that time, good lord. Just call everybody down. Hey ho guys, it's going to be a slow mission I'm afraid. No, no, outside of that little snippet about their history, there's not a great deal I know about the Blood Angels, thinking about it. Uh, I know that they have a flawed gene seed, and that their Primarch, uh, Sanguinus, died at the hands of the Arch Traitor Horus, who was um, the Emperor's favourite for a time, who fell to chaos and threw the entire Imperium of Mankind into absolute hell and in the final battle the final day of the war he slew his brother Sanguinus who was the progenitor the primarch of the blood angels but other than that I'm a bit lax I'm afraid if anybody would like to share any information in, you know, in the comments section or anything like that feel free I'm always interested to learn new things even if it's about fictional worlds. How many have we got left? 21. Good lord. At this rate, it's going to take another 21 turns simply because they're spawning so slowly. Oh no, 19 left. Okay. Could be worse. Beware the alien. Like that. This storm bolt got hot, didn't it? The machine spirits have answered my prayers. Let's see if we can get through Clear this reasonably fire. quickly, though. I don't fancy our chances. We've got 16 left. Fourteen. This is a pretty bad first mission, isn't it? Target. Just slow. Obstruction removed. Initiating attack protocol. Twelve left. Come on, send more of them at me. Clear to fire. Weapon operational. I wish I knew who was um, actually getting all the kills. Beware. Have a kill counter in mission. That'd be really helpful. Or more stats here. That'd be nice. You can actually hide these if you don't want to see them, but I don't know. I don't mind seeing them. Coming handy. Nine left. Yay! <laughs> so close. One's on the flanks haven't been threatened at all. Seven, hallelujah. Nearly, nearly, six left. Okay, as I said, this is the original campaign that featured in the board game. Oops, I didn't mean to reload here. Never mind. And as such, it probably feels a little bit weaker than some of the other campaigns. Um, and it's also, I believe, the campaign that features in the original Space Hulk uh, computer game. The, um, the one that Full Control did before they did Ascension. Um, which, you know, okay, fair enough. Recycle the missions, I suppose, in the campaign. Would it be nice to perhaps see something new for the Blood Angels? Two left. Hey, that's good. Nope, don't walk over that. <clears throat> and the board game, if you haven't had a chance to play it, is actually pretty fun. It's very RNG-reliant. 
Um, there we go. Done. But it's still a good fun board game. Very tense at times. Especially if you have two really good players. Some missions undoubtedly favour certain sides, but hey. Calistaris 14, good job Calistaris. Is he going to level? Yes, he does. And Gadriel levels as well. It's not too bad, so two levels. That's a pretty good start. We'll have a look, see how that is. And sort out any level ups that we have to do. Uh, we don't want to different bolters. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, he's unlocked his second force power already. If you Whoa! That is a lot of powers. Blood boil. Good lord. Some cool sounding abilities there. We're gonna take the area smite, of course, and force barrier, I think. Give him the extra AP and a little bit of extra toughness. Gadriel. Dun, 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 dun. We are going to up your AP and keep the rest of it for now. I don't think he gets anything else, does he? Let's get hold of the new Storm Bolter. Oops, didn't want to equip that. Don't like the loss of accuracy. I suppose once they're leveled up, it's not too bad because you can offset that with um, the skills. But at this stage, just don't think it's worth the trade-off. Okay, well sadly I don't have time to do another full episode, I don't, campaign I don't think, another full map, sorry. Get it right in a minute. So I'm going to have to call the episode here, I'm afraid. Bit of a slow start, but I am sure that it will pick up later on, as these missions always do. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please feel free to leave a comment underneath, or, you know, even if you didn't like it, drop me a line, let me know why. Uh, you can also contact me on social media, all the links are in the description, and I'll be back soon with another episode. So, until then, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that fun stuff, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.